my dear friend. Thank you so much for choosing to spend your time with me on the mat today. We are in Cabo San Lucas, and the infamous arch that this area is really well known for is just, just across the water over that way. Just to give you a little feel for where we are located today. The practice I have for you is a yin yoga practice. We will be just taking three different asanas and I will be using one block. Uh, so just have any props that you like to use during a yin yoga practice nearby just in case to help meet your body where it's at. No props are needed for today's practice so if you don't have them. Now let's go ahead and move into our first yin asana which will be butterfly pose. So bring your soles of feet to kiss and let your knees fall open wide side to side. The distance of your feet from your groin is up to you. But uh, if you'd like a little direction, I would say have a nice soft diamond shape with your legs. And then from here, breathe in, find length. And on your exhale, just allow yourself to round forward, rounding out your spine, chin to chest. Let your head be heavy. We don't want to wrench ourselves forward here. Just let gravity take hold and be your friend. You can slide your palms face up underneath your shins if you'd like as a gentle, subtle reminder to not pull yourself forward. Just let that head be heavy. Taking slow and steady breaths in and slow, steady, complete breaths out. Elongating your inhale and elongating your exhale. Keeping your upper body just as it is, bring your fingertips to the earth and then press down through your fingertips and let this action be what lifts you up nice and slow, feeling your body move out of this pose and slowly lift your head up and just take a moment to allow the nutrients of that asana to settle into your body. extend your legs out long. You may want to shake them a little bit to help release. And then let's bring your, let's keep your left leg extended and bring the opposite foot into your thigh. We're taking half butterfly with a side body stretch. So open your hips to the side space. And then we're going to slide your left arm down, right arm can circle up and over behind your head or behind your low back. 
Now, if your left arm doesn't fully slide down and reach the earth, you can bring a block there or you can let your elbow rest to your uh, thigh and then let your head rest to your fist. Your body's choice. Just find a variation with your right arm that help promotes that chest remaining open while you hold. If you do bring your arm up and overhead, this can continue to get into the back side of your arm. I find that when I do that though, I tend to round forward, so I'm not going to do that today. And once you find your body's variation of this pose, invite your body to soften, muscles to relax. We're getting into your hamstring as well as that right hip and up along the side body, the right side. And then into your neck as well. So just notice the sensations you're experiencing in your body. And breathe as you hold. To come out of this pose, bring your right arm down to the earth, fingertips to the earth, and then bring your left fingertips to the side of your face. And very slowly, just press into your fingertips to help lift you back up nice and slow and mindfully, supporting your body. Just take a moment to feel into that. And let's take that over to the second side. So extending your right leg out long, left foot to your inner thigh, hips opening to the side space. Lowering your right arm to the inside of the leg, to your thigh or to a block. Exploring what variation you would like with your left arm. Resting your head to your fist or maybe to your fingertips if that doesn't feel nice. Just have a nice open chest. Maybe shifting your weight back in space a little bit to help open that chest. Soften throughout your body. Melt into the pose. Elongating your inhale. And elongating your exhale.
slowly soften that left hand, bringing those fingertips to the earth. And then bring your right fingertips to your face and slowly press it down through your fingertips to help lift you back up. Nice and slow with control, fully supported, fully loved. And just take a moment. Once you're lifted, to let the effects of the pose settle in. Beautiful, my friends. Let's make our way to hands and knees for our final asana, which will be melting heart pose. So align your knees underneath your hip points and then keeping your knees just as they are, walk your palms forward, melting your heart towards the earth, grounding your forehead to the earth or maybe to a block. Really ground your palms, fingers spread wide. Let your belly drape. Navel draws to spine on the exhale supporting your lower back and send your breath in through the length of your spine and on the exhale just allow your body to melt and settle deeper into the asana Slowly press yourself back into child's pose, rounding out that spine. We're just here for one full breath in and one full breath out. And slowly roll up, lean forward to bring your feet off to one side, to bring them out in front of you and make your way to a comfortable cross-legged seated position. Sitting up nice and tall, letting your head over your heart and your heart over your pelvis. And just take a moment here to feel into the effects of our practice. Into the effects of those three asanas. While we just did three, they really targeted a lot of areas of our body, from our hips to our hamstrings, the front and back side of our torso, along your side bodies, into your chest and shoulders, 
your neck. So just a few areas we didn't hit on, like your quads, your fingers, your toes. Pretty close to a full body practice with just three asanas. Let's breathe in, circle your fingertips up to the sky, gathering love and light. Palms kiss and bring all that love and light down to your heart center. Breathe in, rice prayer to your third eye. Exhalation, bow forward to your heart. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me, my friend. If you enjoyed this short yin practice, if you like short yin yoga practices like this, leave me a comment below and let me know so I can be sure to bring more to you guys. I can throw the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to help bring our content to the top to help spread the yoga love with all. I think it is now time for me and Adam to go for a swim out in this beautiful water. Have a beautiful rest of your day, my friends. Love and light.